Northside businesses overnight. They stole the cash register and the ATM from one of the stores. And as WGN's Marcella Raymond reports, this isn't the first time it has happened at that location. Aoub Shafi believes his business is being targeted. This is the second time in three weeks. So what are you going to do? I don't know. It looked like we have to close the store. See, is it, is it keep happening like that? How are we going to survive here? Surveillance video from inside Uptown Smoke Zone shows a man smash the front door window. Then another guy comes in and they pry the ATM out of the floor. One goes behind the counter and pulls the whole cash register off the shelf. Shafi says a third man drove a light-colored, possibly gray minivan into the alley to load the stolen goods. It's tough being a business owner in Chicago exactly. these days. You are right, especially for the small businesses. For the, how are we going to survive if it keeps happening like that? We're surviving. You know, we, I have a family, three children. I have to feed them. If things happen, if things go really, really bad and, you know, you have to shut down for uh, any amount of time, it, it really hurts the business, especially now during the, the pandemic. Chicago police believe the same offenders burglarized Red Hot Ranch in Lakeview close to three this morning and then 10 minutes later did the same at Uptown Smoke Zone. Their M.O. is the same as well, break in the glass and try to get the ATM and the cash register. One of the offenders jumped over the counter mm -hmm. and uh, looked around by the cash register and s to see if there's anything there to take. It, it all lasted about 45 seconds. Okay. Jeff Greenfield always leaves the cash register open to show that there's no money in it. And unlike the smoke shop, the offenders weren't able to take this ATM. When something like this happens, you know, you just hope that it doesn't cost a lot of money to reopen because, you know, we're, we're barely making it now. Chicago police say these men may have broken into other businesses overnight as well. Reporting from Lakeview, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.